Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Michael Bertinko, and today I'll be talking to you about the importance of a healthy lifestyle. A healthy lifestyle is something that has always interested me. Ever since I was a kid, I liked the nature and the outdoors, and I liked to eat healthy as a kid, and I felt much better when I ate healthy than when I ate junk food. Also, I like to run a lot, and it's, some, it's something that I still do. It helps to really clear my mind and to sharpen my focus. Health has been very important to people all throughout history. It was very important to the prehistoric people who relied on their physical fitness skills for survival. They also used many different herbs and plants and other natural medicines to help improve their health. In ancient Greece, good health was seen as a gift from the gods, and bad health was seen as a punishment. The Greeks also introduced an early healthcare system, different types of treatments, and medical diagnosis. Thomas Jefferson believed that good health was essential to the founding principles of America, and that there is no happiness without health, and that it's a natural right of the people. Physical fitness started to become popular in America only in about the 20th century. By the 1800s, most of Europe already had organized physical education programs for children, but America was kind of slow to develop these because the schools focused more on the mind instead of the body. By the end of World War I, it was revealed that about one in three draftees were physically unfit prior to the war. But when the Great Depression began, physical fitness was not, still not seen as a top priority. And when World War II began, most of the draftees were still physically unfit. It wasn't until about after World War II that physical fitness started to really be focused on. There was a large study that was conducted that showed that the majority of school children were physically unfit. And that's when the government started to implement different programs into schools and create different organizations that helped promote physical fitness. Health is also very important in today's society as well. About $3.3 trillion is spent annually on healthcare. Lots of money is being spent on things such as diets and personal trainers to help improve people's health. Also, people spend lots of money on prescription medications as well as natural and alternative treatments. According to the World Health Organization, about 80% of the population in Africa and Asia still use herbal medicine to this day. There are many positive effects of physical exercise. The most obvious one is weight loss. Physical exercise helps burn calories, which assists in weight loss. And you don't necessarily have to go to the gym just to burn calories and to lose weight, but simply being more active throughout the day can really have a positive effect on your body. And simple things such as taking the stairs or the instead of the elevator can really have a positive effect on your body. Physical fitness also helps to prevent and manage a wide variety of physical physical illnesses and conditions such as stroke, metabolic syndrome, diabetes, depression, many different types of cancer and arthritis. It also helps improve muscle strength and, and it works kind of like a natural antidepressant because it stimulates various brain chemicals which leaves you with a much more happier and relaxed feel. Also, physical fitness has shown to help you fall asleep much faster and deepen your dreams. Eating, exercising is very important, but eating healthy is arguably even more important. There are many visit positive benefits of eating healthy. It's very important to get enough food as well as the right kind of food. In the poor countries, malnutrition is a significant cause of death and mental illness, yet in the wealthy countries, childhood and adult obesity are much more common. Obesity can lead to heart problems, which is the leading cause of death in America. It's also very important to get your essential nutrients. These are things that the body requires because it cannot make it in large enough quantities to help support body needs. These are divided into six different classes, the carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, water, vitamins, and minerals. Some are needed in large quantities to help support body needs, but others are needed in relatively smaller amounts to support body needs. And this, this led me to create my project because researching all the positive effects that a healthy lifestyle has on your body was very interesting to me. And that's where the idea came to do my project over the importance of a healthy lifestyle. And that's what I did. I talked to some of my friends and classmates and asked if they would be interested in joining a, uh, a fitness group. And I created a fitness group and taught my members about the importance of eating healthy and exercising. We went to the YMCA about two to three times a week and for a period of about six weeks. Before I started the project, I talked to the owner, Terry, and we were able to work out a deal. She was very kind and let my members get in for just $1. And 
we came there usually right after school and did the warm ups and proceeded with the workout that I had planned for that day. We did the basic arm and leg workout, arm and leg stretches, as well as dynamic warm ups to make sure that everybody was properly warmed up and that nobody got hurt. And we did mostly leg workouts on Mondays, then arm workouts on Wednesdays, and cardio and abs in the aerobics room on Thursdays. And my mentor, Gabe per Coach Gabe Perez, was usually there right after school, and he gave us some neat t tips and tricks on how to exercise. There are several challenges that I faced during my senior project. The biggest one would be the weather. I originally planned to do my project during a period of six to eight weeks, and I did do it for a period of six weeks, but I should have started earlier because this was the time of the year when the weather was kind of bad. And there were times when we could get together only once a week due to bad weather and road conditions. And also not every one of my members could come every single time because of school activities, work, and other circumstances. But I still had a pretty good turnout for what I had hoped for for my senior project. There are many positive effects to eating healthy and working out. And if everybody chose to live a more healthy lifestyle, the world would be a truly better place. Thank you very much. Any questions? <coughs> Do you plan to continue re continue your workout regimen beyond this project? Like continue to work out? Yes. I re it's, a, it's something that I really like to do and I'll continue doing. Did you have any people in your group who were completely new to exercise? Um, I'm not. Sh I'm not sure if they're completely new because we have body conditioning in school. Most of them took that, but most of them don't work out very often. So I, I kind of helped them. What kind of discussions did you have on on good nutrition? On nutrition, well, I talked to them uh, that uh, they need to get enough of their. Uh, veggies and fruits and stuff like that. And also after a workout, it's very important to get your proteins to make sure that the body recovers correctly. And before a workout, you need to eat also so that you have energy to work out. All right.